Hey, hey there everybody, how you doing? It's me, your boy Drake. Welcome back, Minecraft Guide episode number 92. Today's guide episode is gonna be a little bit different. I put a lot of work into today's episode, so I would really appreciate it if you left a like. It would help a lot. Thank you. We've been busy, for sure, definitely. The last episode, we cleared out this gigantic chunk of space in the jungle. This is basically a 70 by 70 by 70 by 70 block area. It is absolutely gigantic. Today, we're going to fill this space up. If you caught the last episode, this is what we came up with. We're going to build this, but like, fill it in, make it bigger, gigantic Mayan temple in that space. It's gonna be pretty sweet. We're gonna need like a lot of stone, a lot of cobblestone, and grass and, and space. It's gigantic. Now, thankfully, stone, uh, dirt, cobblestone, yeah, I, I have a ton of that stuff, and even more than just those materials, too. I should be set on supplies for today's build, hopefully. And before you ask, yes, I do have a plan for the build. Uh, 100, certainly. I wouldn't build this without a plan. No way. To make the build a little bit easier, I've broken it up into four steps today. Step number one, the base. So the gigantic temple that we're building will sit on a raised platform. The platform is like five, six blocks tall. I think I'm going to build that first. Then, after building it, I'll detail it. After I detail that, then it's time for the gigantic temple. 64 by 64, built out of two by two blocks. It's going to be absolutely massive. After actually building that, then I'll come back and detail that one too. After building and detailing that part, staircase time. We're going to have staircases going from the front of the thing all the way up to the top of the thing. I'll get those in and then finally at the top of the thing in probably like a 16 by 16 block area, some sort of big building. I don't know what I'm going to do with the building quite yet. Going to have to figure that one out for sure. But that's kind of what I'm thinking with the build today and the episode. That's how it's going to go. I have a ton of different cave systems that are open to the surface under this thing. I'm not going to worry about them today. I'll put a little bit of light under here, probably torches all over the ground eventually to stop mobs from spawning, but I'm not really worried about the cave systems today. We'll have to come back and clear these out a little bit later. All right, well, no more delaying. I think that's that for the build. I think that's pretty much everything. Now it's time to start with the first layer. Now, I, I thought about today's build and, and exactly how I want to do it and, you know, everything like that. I'm thinking that we'll start with stone today. Like, we'll get everything in as stone, then we'll come back in and get all of the other blocks in. The other blocks, I, I've decided. I, I've cut out the mossy cobblestone, unfortunately. It's just gonna save, like, a lot of time and make the build a whole lot easier. And honestly, to be honest, I really kind of hate to say it, but to be honest, I don't think we actually need mossy cobblestone in this build. I'm pretty sure that we could just do the whole build and then put leaves on top of the thing with the gray, and the same effect will be created, so it'll be good. So, uh, this is the first section. Now, all I need to do is repeat this over and over and over again until I get to the other side. Mmm, the corners, the corners, the corners. I think on the corner, we'll have enough room to just basically go straight up like that. Uh, probably fill this spot in, just make it solid. And then on this side, just start this whole arch thing over again. I, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, th that's definitely gonna work because this'll, this'll be coming back in here. We'll have water flowing down in there, like in the idea. Uh, yeah, 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 that, that's gonna work. So the corner, it's easy. It's, it's literally just a corner. Cool. All right, so a little bit of a switch up already. I'm like this far into the build and I'm already changing the plans. I'm thinking right here, this pillar block, the main base block will be stone bricks. The plan here is to get the whole structure in with stone and stone bricks here. Then I'll come back in with cobblestone and swap random blocks out to make it look a whole lot better. I think it's going to make it easier uh, and probably more time efficient here. Time is a big concern for me today. I think it'll probably make it easier to just get everything in like this and then come back and throw all of the details in on top of this thing. I have two pickaxes, a silk touch pickaxe and a fortune pickaxe. To get the details in, like all of the cobblestone, all I need to do is come back with a fortune pickaxe, dig out the stone, place it back down. It'll be cobblestone. But I'm also thinking that we should probably get the dimensions down too before I get too far into the build. So the ground is going to sit... Um... Oh no. Am I doing this wrong already? I'm doing it wrong already. <laughs> Big mistake, a super simple fix. All that I need to do is come back in here with staircases connecting these pillars. Then I put slabs on top of this, an extra block on top of all of the pillars, and then the dirt goes in the middle of all of this. I was putting slabs on top of the arches that I was creating. Mm -mm, that's not what I had in the example. And I think this is gonna make the build look a whole lot better. Okay, so let's figure this out. Here's the side. What I was thinking is temple sits four blocks in. So one, two, three, four. This corner right here, but back there a little bit more, will be the start of the temple. We need the 64 blocks out from this spot right here now. All that I have to do is place this whole stack of blocks down. That's pretty simple. 
Boom, there we go. This is the last one, and then four more on this side. I have to chop all the jungle even more. Oh, that's great, that's wonderful. Like, all the way to this tree right here, straight back. Okay, I, I guess good to know. Same thing on this side. Um, one, two, three, four. Solid stack of blocks starting right here. All right, this side is much better, right? Here is the end, so it looks like I cleared out like literally basically perfect there. So that's the platform, the dimensions. All I need to do is actually get the base in. One hour and a half, an hour and a half so far is how much time I've put into this project. This is what we're looking at now. The whole base is basically actually done. Now, details. I, I want to talk about that really, really quick. I think I maybe changed my mind a little bit I, again. So first off, the water. I thought about it. The water on the base of this thing, I, I think it would make this thing look way less solid. And I want this to look like an absolute unit, like gigantic, solid. So instead of water, I went with cobblestone. It was a little bit easier. I think it looks nicer. Also, the, the build, the details. I haven't put those in quite yet. I'm definitely going to come back and put the, the chiseled stone bricks in here a little bit. I'm thinking maybe cracked ones, mossy ones do. And then on the stone, maybe a little bit of andesite. But what I think I'm actually going to do is go ahead and move on to the next part of the build, which is going to be getting the grass in. And then we're going to start building the actual pyramid itself. The reason I'm thinking about maybe cutting back on the details on the, on the lower part is because, well, I'm going to put like a bunch of leaves in here and fill it in and it's going to look like a jungle anyways. So why would I spend like a bunch of time on this, right? If I'm never even going to see it. By the way, I put a bunch of dirt in here, filled that in. So the grass is going to fill in all the way. When we're done with it, it's going to look like it was always meant to be here. But now time for me to get the grass layer in. I think what I'm going to do is only put the grass around the outside where I have to. So if all of my measurements are correct, the front corner of this thing is going to sit right here when I put the grass in I'm only going to put it on the outside so then the inside gets big and tall and hollow I think that'll be pretty cool but that's the next move this one actually should be pretty quick it's gonna be really easy Oh, and two more things. Uh, first, the details of the base. I don't have to do the back side, and I won't do the back side, and that side. I don't have to do that side either because they're basically against gigantic hills and would be buried anyways, so what would be the point? I put mossy cobblestone along the base over there and on this side, but not on the back, not on that side. Also, the pyramid, ah, uh, the pyramid, the temple, is going to be slightly off center, so that would be four right there, but because of the measurements of this base and the arches and everything like that, this side is going to be five blocks thick instead of four. Four is our goal. And the other side over there, that's going to be five as well. So we're going to have four blocks of space on this and, and on the front. And then five and five on the side. Not that big of a deal. And if that last one bothers you, well, I'm sorry. Probably shouldn't have told you that even. Uh, just look at it this way. It's not real. This isn't real. Numbers aren't real. Nothing is real, actually. Yeah, consider that. Oh, man, uh, probably about 30 minutes later, maybe 45 more minutes, trying to keep track here today, we have this over here. So the grass, that was really, really easy to get in. The details took a little bit more time, but they were pretty easy to get into. Uh, these are the details that I'm talking about. I put stone bricks, the chiseled one with lanterns by there. I think that looks pretty cool. It's going to make like a glow around the base. That'll be sweet. And then uh, a little bit of mossy stone bricks in here too, staircases, things like that. I thought about andesite on the stone uh, because that mixes well, but I decided not to do that. Now, uh, for the next part of the build, I don't know. I think this is maybe the best way to do this. I mean, th the first way worked out pretty nicely. It was pretty easy to get the details in, but I'm thinking that w what we do here is minus two from the stack because we have two right there. And then I think we just start with like all stone, go all the way down, 100% stone, uh, all the way around and then probably all the way up. And then I come back later and swap out the blocks for like cobblestone and stuff because I want this to look worn out. So. I, I think that's what I'm thinking. So one, two, three, and, and then all the way down. Uh, this is going to be a lot because on the first layer, one whole stack is going to be from there all the way down. Then another stack on top of it. And then a third one on this like third top block. Yeah, basically it's going to take like a lot of stone, a ton of blocks. But check this out because I had to take a big part of the hill out over there. I still have like a ton of this stuff. Like I'm doing really, really well. I organized this. The, the dirt's even doing well. I think we're pretty much done with the dirt, but yeah, everything is going good. Now, if this were 1.17, 100,000, 
million, 200%. This would be being built out of Grimstone. That's right, I said it, Grimstone. It's not Deep Slate, it's Grimstone, okay? Yeah, it would be 100% built out of that stuff because this would look so good. Like, I mean, seriously, imagine it. The darker gray colors, like Grimstone, all over this thing. And then I could come in with, like, tiles and, and things like that, too. Oh, it would look so amazing. But Grimstone, wh why do they have to change the name? Like, seriously? Like, like seriously? Come on. And don't come at me with the, oh, everything shouldn't be stone. We have stone. We have blackstone. Ar argument, no. No, I don't care. Grimstone is fine. We can have one more. It's literally one more. One more stone? Like, like if that bothers you so much, I I'm sorry. You need to find something else to bother you because it's not a big deal. I it's Grimstone. And then slate could be something else. Like, we have deep slate and not even slate? Like, huh? Huh? Wait, what do you mean deep slate? Like, what is slate? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said it. Okay, the first layer is now, with this block, officially done. That's it, that's right, we're done. You know, that's not, not right, not yet. Unfortunately, I have even more layers, but this thing, seriously, the scale of it is crazy. Like, look at this. I am already going to be making all of those buildings over there, like even the cathedral, the, the gigantic cathedral over there, it's gonna look tiny, like compared to this build now, it is getting crazy. I also, just not realizing, uh, this is going to be a faster way of doing this, like placing it like this in threes. Also, I can't decide, I'm a conflicted guy, okay? Do I put torches down here right now? Or, or do I let it be like all dark and, and look just to see like what it would look like after? Like, I know it's gonna be dangerous, but I'm curious, like, what is it going to look like, right? I, I don't know. I, I'm such a conflicted person. I can't decide. Ah, uh, yes. The mystery of the great floating vine. I don't understand you, but I, I guess I don't have to understand you. you. I guess you don't have to understand everything, right? Okay, I think this next layer is unfortunately gonna cover the beacon, so might as well get the beacon out of here before it gets too dark. Mobs are definitely starting to spawn in here. Kind of terrifying. And uh, that vine hanging over there. I have to get rid of that too. That's gonna bother me a lot. Yeah, so not gonna lie, not trying to brag or anything, but I've got this down. I've got this easy, like look at this. I'm making really good progress and it's only been uh, only uh, it's only been like a little over a half of an hour now and check it out look at that look at that that's looking good okay yikes so i i almost finished this layer right here this one is 32 blocks across so 32 32 we're like halfway up kind of remember we're not going to go all the way up we're going to make like a flat area on the top and put a room but uh this is the yikes moment right here stone right there the, the, that's all that I have left. I have a ton of cobblestone. I got way too much cobblestone. Nowhere near enough stone. But, uh, thankfully, beacon. So I did take the beacon down. It, it was just not safe in here anymore. Here's what I'm thinking. First, we, we break back into this room and clear it out. Okay, this is harder than I thought. I'm pretty sure things keep spawning in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I probably should have lit this up before. But what I was thinking is we break back into this room and start lighting it up. And then... I, I reset the beacon up like somewhere up there on the outside of the pyramid and then all that I have to do is come in here and just dig stone out from the floor. I don't care about the inside of the pyramid, at least right now, so I could definitely just dig out the floor and get the stone and basically just move it up to there. It's not that big of a deal. Definitely wish though, at this point in the build, definitely wishing that I just got more stone to begin with because then I wouldn't have to do like any of this right now and it would be amazing. Also wishing that I kind of just lit this up uh, <laughs> from the start because it's like a gigantic mob farm. Oh, you know what? You know what? Can I get a music disc? Come on, skeleton. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aim better, aim better. No, 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 come on. Oh, <gasps> it happened, it happened, it happened. I was running away, I was running away. It happened, it happened. New music disc. Oh, okay, what do we get? What do we get? Far, ah, yeah, it's cool. I'm pretty sure I have that one though. Hey, maybe I get another one? Hey, how about I get another one? Creeper, 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 stay away. All right, this should be easy. This should be easy. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more shot, one more shot. Come on, yeah, nicely done, nicely done. What music is now? I don't have this one. Strad, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. I like the look of that one with the white on it. Oh, that's sweet. And I'm a porcupine apparently now. That's awesome. Okay, brand new beacon built over here, back corner, because I think most of the stone is back here. That activates, we pay right here, haste to beacon, boom. 
the inside is also looking much better still a couple dark spots but better now it's stone time this is gonna be really really easy all that i'm gonna do is go down here and just start hollowing it out i need like stacks and stacks and stacks of stone so much of this stuff then after i get a bunch more stone it's back to the top of the pyramid back to work for me super glad that i decided to go to the gold farm and heal up all of my tools because that's perfect if i didn't do that i would have had to do that now and i definitely wouldn't want to do that now about another hour later and here we are the top of the temple right here the final few blocks it's a beautiful moment but the best moment is right after this i can't tell you how many times i've been wanting to like go off like from the distance and take a look at this build because it is massive and finally we get to i haven't done it yet i wanted to do it for the first time on camera oh my gosh i wanted oh yes yes this is it this is it this is exactly what i was going for look at how massive this thing is an absolute unit a, t a tank a, a temple the the strongest thing in the world this is it almost oh that's amazing okay but the real question is what does it look like from over here now like by let's say the cathedral like we're over here exiting the storage building what are we oh we can see it we can see it yes i mean i knew i was gonna see it i, I knew it was going to be gigantic but we can see it it's in the distance with the fog too oh that's amazing this gigantic temple looming over literally everything that we're doing oh this is perfect this is exactly what i wanted okay now how about the clock tower i know for sure we're gonna be able to see the thing for sure for sure oh look at it this is my this might be the best view of the thing that thing is gigantic but it's not quite done yet so there are a few more steps that i need to get done i think i'm probably just going to go ahead and get them in let's talk about the staircase first so i i think the staircase should be built out of stone bricks and should be centered up at the top of this thing what we want to do is find the center i'm guessing it's maybe maybe like those two blocks that i placed down at first okay yeah actually i was spot on these two blocks are the center blocks the staircase i i think it should be four blocks wide so that wide then we'll have some kind of side block on the thing too staircase built out of stone brick stairs and probably cobblestone stairs to make it look old now the the rest of this gigantic pyramid needs a little bit of detail right now it's really plain the detail cobblestone i'm thinking gigantic cobblestone patches and when i say gigantic i mean like pretty sizable patches here of cobblestone to make this thing look a little bit older cobblestone shouldn't be a problem i didn't use any in the entire build the inside of this thing is looking like this right now gigantic massive huge all of the stone that i was using on this build i got from this spot right here actually i decided to dig under the floor decided i do actually care about the floor so yeah that's where i got that from so anyways a, a staircase four blocks wide from the top of the thing i'm going to start at the top and it's going to go all the way down to the bottom then i'm going to need to set up some sort of staircase to get up onto this thing too i don't know if it's going to be one continuous staircase or if i'll do like a, a different entrance somewhere else i'm not too sure yet now when i put these cobblestone patches in i think what i'm going to try and do is kind of like rough things up a little bit so maybe sometimes on the top i'll put like a slab there instead just to make this look a whole lot more worn out then after i get all of the cobblestone in i'm gonna put leaves all over this thing too in in like a random order to make it look like this thing is super overgrown this area in here needs to be bone milled don't know if i'm gonna bone meal it right away but it does need to be bone milled we need a building up at the top too but i think i'll probably come back before i put the building in okay so this is our temple right now before i do very much of the cobblestone before i do any of the leaves before i do the staircase all right here it is with all of the stones the details you know things like that and finally here it is with all of the leaves all of the plants everything basically finished other than the top of the build so check it out leaves all over this thing definitely jungly i put flowers and in, in grass all the way around this thing it used like a ton of bone meal but it's in i went with red flowers only only red always only red and then right here the entrance i, I have this grand staircase and then water right here i thought that was kind of nice it doesn't actually perfectly line up with the arches because those are odds this is all built in evens but yeah 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 look at it so we can walk up right here and then we, we can keep walking up the pyramid or we could go around this thing if we wanted to but all the way up to the top so this thing is absolutely massive here like look at this this reaches all the way up perfectly 
to Y100, which is like absurd. The ground down there at the base of the pyramid, like before the base, Y69. So yeah, it's pretty massive. It's gigantic, but now it's time for the final thing, which is going to be a room up here. Now, to be honest, guys, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking sections of three, and then I could maybe do like like it goes up or something i want to try and keep it open so section of three section of three yeah something like that probably with like stone bricks and cobblestone i want to make it look good but also worn out and, and then tall and then probably just open in here like not too much but that's kind of what i'm thinking so time for stone bricks time for a tiny bit more building honestly i i just can't believe i've done it i i've actually done it the build is almost done this has taken an unbelievable amount of time like going into this project of course of course i i knew it was going to be like a big project but this big of a project this big of a project is crazy in fact if you want to relive the experience of building this temple like for yourself pretend that you did it well good news amazing news actually second channel card on screen right now i'm, I'm gonna put footage of building this thing in survival no commentary minimal cuts asmr gang this is for you all right long time later long long time later good news good news the temple the shrine the jewel the absolute unit the tank the thing that i've been working on for two days now is now fully finished it's ready to be shown off so check this out here it is it's gigantic it's big the staircase is long and tall if we go up the staircase this is the front side by the way the side that faces basically everything that we built we go up here we have this room right here glazed terracotta i thought it would be perfect for this one and this one with the grays and the blues the blue matches the sky the gray matches uh this entire build this is gigantic i did glazed terracotta up there there's soul fire in the corner to match the terracotta it's weird it's strange doesn't make sense no over here they were i think trying to do redstone we'll say and there's the stone cutter right here tons of gold up here they don't know this stuff is worthless emeralds though they're kind of onto something there melons here too because i thought it was kind of cool i found these melons when i was digging out the jungle thought i would return it to the jungle and then a table to be honest i wasn't too sure what to put in here so i, I just put a table and like layers and sheets of gold and redstone don't know what it is to be honest i wasn't 100 percent sure what to do with this top room but i think that turned out pretty good the top of the building looks really complex but it's actually pretty simple if you look at it break it down there's slabs on the roof staircases terracotta showing yeah that's it that's it that's the whole temple it's actually done now and i think it turned out really really nicely i am like crazy happy with this thing i can't stop flying around and looking at this thing from the sky like different angles like it just looks so cool and it adds so much to this world like this angle over here by the storage building is probably my favorite angle check this out so from the storage building you look over here you can see it in like the distance with the fog which is awesome and then you walk out here and then you can see it over there with the top part with the smoke coming out of the thing it looks gigantic like an absolute like it's just giant it's an entire mountain i'm so happy with it but that's gonna do it for this episode of the guide gigantic temple it's in like button it's been smashed subscribe have you subscribed thanks for watching everybody it's been me your boy waddles i'll see you next time goodbye everyone